GD&T can be so simple if you'll just remember the hierarchy. This tip is about a drawing made by someone who didn't remember the hierarchy. If you want to download the PDF or see the extended video of this tip, be sure to join our premium site. Now, here's your tip. I recently had a drawing that looks like this sent to me. And the person who sent it was concerned about the orientation of these four fins relative to the datum axis and to one another on this weldment. So they used parallelism. They forgot about the hierarchy of geometric tolerancing. Folks, once you establish your datums, your origins of measurement, you need to locate everybody else. The part that you could end up with might be like this one. I know you're saying, well, that doesn't look anything like the drawing. But it does meet the requirements of the drawing to be parallel to the axis established by datum feature A. There's only one geometric tolerance that locates surfaces, and that's profile of a surface. So the person should have used profile of a surface, 4x, and that would have not only controlled where these fins are on the part, but also their orientation to the datum axis and to each other in this pattern, and their flatness and straightness. Now, if they need for the fins to be oriented better than the profile of 0 0.4, you could certainly add a refinement. That's the hierarchy. You start with location, then you could add a refinement for orientation, or if you needed for the fins to be flatter or straighter, you could certainly add that. Locate first, and then refine, but only if necessary. What could be simpler? Follow the GD&T hierarchy and remember the GD&T rules. I'll see you next tip.